takes a village to raise a child. Well, I'm here to inform you that it takes a whole surrounding of genius people to plan a wedding. And I have the genius group right here with me tonight. And I'm gonna introduce them to you right now. I'm Pam and I'm responsible for this fabulous cover gown. Love that. Yes. I'm Gail and I had a little something to do with that big cake. And I gained five pounds from it. Good. <laughs> I'm Armin, I helped with the food and ran the, was the captain of the ship. And it was a whole lot of yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carrie, and I'm responsible for the fabulous flowers. And we steal besties. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Bryce. I took care of the hair and makeup for this 18-month journey for Deborah and Alexis. And he was my psychologist. So like I said, <laughs> it takes a whole group. And as you take those days and those steps of planning the special day for your daughter, whether you're the mother of the bride or the bride, it's great to have lots of information and throughout this year we're going to have segments with all of these fabulous experts in their field to help you plan your special day without sweat and make it the most beautiful ever. To view this entire episode or to view other past episodes, please visit our podcast site at DebraKennedyShow.com. Every bride wants to look like a princess on her very special day. And I have the expert guest right here today that will make every bride a princess for the day. Miss mm. Pam, we're so excited to have you. Thank you. You and Miss Sybil are just like, like I tell everyone, you guys should have your own reality show because you are southern at its finest. <laughs> you are, and you're hospitable and make everybody feel warm and welcome. And I love you because my daughter found the most perfect dress and she felt like a princess but it was a lot because you guys work so well with each and every bride that comes in and they know their look or they don't know their look so you know you guys really know how to lead brides because you've been doing it how many years 42 42, 42 years, years mm -hmm. now. yeah so you know you know the little tricks and trades so that that helps the bride mm -hmm. decisions a little easier right right yeah right. Well, and just like with Alexis, I mean, she's just a beautiful girl, number one. Thank but you. Um, and wedding gowns are beautiful. Right. But it takes the perfect dress for each girl. I right. Mean, it's going to be, you'll know when it's the right dress for right. each girl. And we did find the right one. We for did, but there, like, when, you're out, when you're planning, there's, you know, you can, you're, there's tall girls. Yes. There's petite girls, there's curvy girls, yes. there's thin girls, and there's also girls that are average size that get super thin for that one special day. I know Alexis did. I know she, you know, when you're a bride, you want to look perfect. Right. Your arms toned and, you know, no body fat because, you know, lots of the dresses are not forgiving. Oh, yes. um, and that's why there's so many types of bridal gowns, but you said it's very important to try on multiple. Right, and that's why it's best to come with an open mind, because when you come with an open mind, our staff is there to, with their knowledge, to help choose the best dress for your body style, for your body type, whether you're tall, whether you're short, whether, you know, we want to emphasize the hip area or not. Mm -hmm. um, and so coming with um, an open mind is best. I mean, because they get on Pinterest and um, look in magazines and right. all the models are six feet tall. And so- And pencils. Yes, yeah, so yeah. they're gonna look great on those models. Right. But you wanna look best that day and what dress is gonna look best on you. 
Right, and, and, and Alexis, she tried on, we had a little party, and this was like one of the most fun things that we did. That was so fun. Oh, it was. All of her, some of my friends and all the bridesmaids, we had so many special people there for that day when she had the unveiling, and she tried on multiple dresses. Yes, yes, and I thought what was so fun was the her friends, or all of you, had the paddles right. with the yes and the no, and they would she would come out, and she would show a no, they would show a no, some would say yes, some would say no, right. but when she came out in this, this fabulous gown. Mm -hmm. Let's let's do a little. Let's pan over to this paddle. Turn to yes at one time, and you knew that that was the gown for Alexis. Right. The tears flowed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just it was an, an awesome experience. It was, and you, she tried on eight dresses. Yes, eight dresses, and that was the only one that every single every paddle, paddle turned. turned. And it was like say yes to the dress. Yes. It was like so <laughs> exciting because really, truly, it was because it yes. was like that moment, you know. We had photographers, not the whole camera crew there. Right. But, but it was fun. But, I mean, the most special thing is is that she felt like a princess in that moment. Yes. And and that's what we want. When a bride leaves the doors of Poffy Girls, we want them to feel like a princess. Right. We want them to feel this is their special day. And and that's the way she felt. And Well, let me tell you what she said about good. her experience. Good. Okay. So let me just read you a few things. This Alexis said, I felt like a beauty queen in my dress. Buffy girls helped me find the perfect one. They made sure I had the perfect veil. So it wasn't just about the dress. It was about the whole the look. The whole look. Mm -hmm. They even helped me find my bridesmaids' dresses and my rehearsal dinner dress. It was one-stop shop for bridal beauty. I love that. That's so, great. That's true. That's great. And I'm going to even talk about myself. Okay. So I, of course, flew out to L.A. because I was going to have a designer dress, and this designer was going to create it. He did, like, the Miss Universe, and he did some of the people in the red carpet. So it was all great. It's how I went there and, it, you know, got the dress and it was last minute because, you know, I didn't live in L.A. I made, what, three trips back right. there and forth. Mm -hmm. So when I came back, the dress just wasn't me. And, and I remember Bonnie, the, the call that you gave me. <laughs> Lots of people, my daughter said, mm, Mom, that dress is just not, it's not you, Mom. It's just a little too, little dowdy. Yeah. And my friend Bonnie here's, here on the, the set said the same thing. And then, you know, so then I knew that I, I didn't feel magical. Right. And so to the rescue, yes. we found a dress. And hand picked one hand -picked just one. for you. Yeah, absolutely. It Which, met your personality, your style. Everything. And I'll be honest, it was what I was looking for when I flew to LA, but it was in my back door and I didn't know it because there's something, you know, saying, oh, my dress is designed yes. by, you know, it's right. by this famous person in LA. Well, that doesn't always work either. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> no. So, um, so even for, you know, so it's, it was like kind of an experience for all of us. And it could have been a disaster because a lot of people wait till, you know, oh, mother of the bride, you're going to lose 10 pounds right. or even they brides. always wait yeah, till the last one. Always wait till the last <laughs> And then you could like be off the rack, right? Right. right. Yeah. Not off your rack, just off the rack. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which is not a pretty picture, right? Right. No, no, no. no. Um, so what are a couple tips that you can give our viewers out there that, you know, when they are shopping for that perfect dress and dealing with mothers, like, I think I was a nice mother. because Yes, you were. Uh, Y'all were very pleasant to deal with. Pleasant. But, but there mean, are some I, that aren't. Yes. Um, but I would definitely come, like I said before, with an open mind. But come with pictures, too, you know, right. to just so show this is um, these are some examples of dresses that I like right um, we may pull some of those to show right. you that hey that's gonna look fabulous on you or we still may show that's not flattering your waistline or something mm -hmm. so definitely having that open mind and not just set in stone and then also keep the open mind that some things are going to go wrong in the whole planning process and just you know just keep your head high and keep trudging forward mm -hmm. and it will all work out as you know that it did it, yes and you know turn to some experts on some of those things mm -hmm. because when you're working in that business day in and day out lots of times you are the experts we we know what's going to work right. for you too and i'll say even a, an extra little thing was i had a little you know as you go through menopause ladies you sometimes have that little pooch and i was a little self-confident of that mm -hmm. and your mom went out and and found a piece of material that was the perfect color to match the dress so right. that i felt like beautiful the whole night and didn't have to worry oh. you know if i had a little pooch or not just saying it's all real ladies it happened mm -hmm. so you know so that was great too because then i felt great yes so. and we want to do the special touches whatever we 
want to do. I mean, whatever you all want us to do, mm -hmm. we do just to make you feel beautiful too. Because it's right. also your day. Yes, it so is. So it's all about the bride, but the mom we have to support as well. Right. And we're so excited too because like we're going to show some pictures. We're going to cut to some pictures mm -hmm. and show, you know, the cover. Uh, yes. was the beautiful gown beautiful. that you selected yes. for Alexis along with some other moments um, that we had uh, with you and your mom. So we want to yes. share those pictures right now. I have a very special award I'd like Aww. to present you with tonight for Thank your you. outstanding, outstanding service, customer appreciated to Aww. the max for your loyalty and for your artistic ability and design. <laughs> All of that on, on this award. So, mm, thank you for thank everything you. that you did so to make sweet. Alexis's day so special and thank mine. Thank you so, so much. We love you. Mm. We love you too. Aww. Um, so if you are planning a wedding, or if you are going to be planning a wedding, you will want to keep this segment. And if you want to watch it again, go to DebraKennedyShow.com, go to our podcast, and just plug in Search Engine Puffy Girls, and this segment and the other segments that they have been here with us for will pop up, and you can watch over and over and over. So let's say goodnight to our audience. How about okay. that? Okay. Sure. Good, Good night. night. wedding the most important feature is how good is the food going to be and back by popular demand is our world-renowned catering artist Armin thank you Deborah. Yeah. it's always Thanks. a pleasure to be here it's always a pleasure and you my friend are a masterful artist at cooking oh thank you you take it to the umph level um, and dealing with brides it can always be a challenge don't you think yeah, it can be a little bit of a challenge, but you, right. guys, you guys are all great to deal with. So right. we don't well, have any, any problems. Well, and it's very important that the food tastes great. Um, and the past hors d'oeuvres that you served at our wedding were just off the chart amazing. And I do want to share a few of the things that Alexis said oh, about you. Thank you. Alexis said, Armin and Gary were beyond amazing with their delicious food selections and unique ideas because you did always come up with creative mm -hmm. ideas of, you know, we could do this, but with the sauce and made it unique and different, mm -hmm. not same old, same old. They had a plan for everything and executed it to perfection. That's my Armin. That's Look so at that cute. smile. Thank you. We lost power in the kitchen during the dinner and the guest did not know about it. Neither did the bride or groom, no. nor did the mother of the bride. Shocking, no one even noticed. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Great. Talk about working well under pressure. So, uh, and so that did happen. Things happened yeah, at it was, weddings. It was quite a challenge. I right. mean, we had no power. We had no way to heat the food. We just had to kind of go old school right. and just make everything happen. But not to let anybody know about it out front was the most important thing. Right, no one knew. Bride the food just know, came out. Nobody had any idea what was going on for an hour in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> an hour? Can you imagine? No, because if we did know, everybody right. would be panicked. And so that means you work so well under pressure. Right, and yeah. we do that a lot. Right. So you just have to kind of figure out what to do, how to save the day, and make it happen. The nice thing was Alexis couldn't make her mind out up about which appetizers she right. wanted. So we ended up having 10. 10! 10. 10 appetizers, that's before dinner. So that there was, was enough yeah. food to go around to keep everybody entertained, not right. knowing about the plated part being so heated. We, so we had, so the 10 were um, deviled eggs. We had deviled eggs, we're, these spinach and artichoke rangoons right that you see we're gonna here. We're going to see these here, right here. These were amazing. I mean, every time the plates were passed, those were devoured. Um, then we had shrimp shots. We had shrimp shots, and that was in a little shot glass. Mm -hmm. And then we had um, tuna, tuna on a fork right. with um, sesame seeds and wasabi. Mm -hmm. And then we had the Deborah Kennedy Southern Decadence Hello. that we also have on our lunch menu. Right. And this was a big favorite, too, for everybody. We topped some with bacon. It's made with pimento cheese, fried green tomatoes, and then we topped it with a little cheddar here. But it was another big hit. And what was nice is it just kept food going for an hour or so and a half before they all got back from taking pictures. Right. It's a really important part of, 
you know, entertaining your guests while the photos are being taken. Right, I, exactly. And what I would like to say is, Armin, you were a rock because not only <laughs> were you the catering genius, you were the uh, psychologist because, you know, during a wedding, there are all these different temperamental people that you're working with. And I love that you took charge and you were the captain of the ship. And I just remember you saying, this is a cover broad. We are going to make this happen. <laughs> so you actually had everyone come and set up early. Well, yeah, and that was really important, especially when there were so many different people involved from the floral to the linens to mm -hmm. the rentals. We had to make sure everybody was there and get set up ahead of time so that we took three days actually to set up what most people would do in one day. Right. Just so everything was perfect. And if we hadn't done that, some of the people were planning on coming on Friday afternoon, and there was no way we would have got things set up. So it was a good right. thing. But, you know, and that's what we do as caterers. We're event planners, caterers. Right. We do the food. We help coordinate everybody, get mm -hmm. the team together so that the team all works together and have that little last-minute powwow. Right. And, <laughs> and, and then you know, they get fed. And then they get fed. But it's kind of cool because you do have a, a personality. Like, you know, even under pressure, you don't lose your cool. And I have to give a shout-out to Gary because his main job was taking care of a table that had my dear mother who passed right. away right. and my father and they were very picky they like their food very you know my dad likes a stick well done and my mm -hmm. mother didn't want wine on her chicken so he made sure that he made them feel like vips you know he had our the whole wedding party right the bride and groom and mother the bride and father and all that good stuff um and then he also had that table and i love that he made them feel my dad still talks about well and that. he's in lots of pictures with him too making sure everything was perfect right and, you know unfortunately we lost your mom but it was mm -hmm. a very memorable time it for was all of us. it was amazing because she had memories and my dad said she talked about it all the time because you know gary and you and everything just made them feel so special so well, um you. you know but I, I think really i want to give our audience a few tips that a lot of people are out there planning weddings or in the beginning stages and there's so many things that can go wrong and there's so many books that you can read and there's so many people that you can talk to but really the experts in their field are the ones that know the go-to answers and so what are a couple words of advice that you can give our viewers out there that are in the planning stages or think they're getting married soon definitely one thing is always make sure there's a bottle of champagne around <laughs> for the girls to keep them happy second thing is don't get carried away with all the food in the world. Right. Think about what you want, what you like, what your guests are gonna want, and, and pick the right meal. Don't go overboard. And right. You don't need more than one tasting. One's enough. Right, right. So, and I love that. And, you know, for us, it was like, you know, like I was probably the one that wanted a little bit more of the appetizers mm -hmm. because I wanted to please every palate, of course. Um, but, you know, I, I think it worked out great. And I think you were the most amazing team. And right now, we are going to show a few pictures of that magical day. And I think those pictures captured the moment perfectly. But I have a little special treat oh, for you. Oh, you're so sweet. I have an award for <clears throat> world-renowned catering and service. And you truly are world-renowned. And your service is exquisite. I'd like to present you with a little recognition trophy right now. Thank you. This right is now. so sweet. Aww, got a thank little you cover for bride a right cover here. Bride and you, you helped to orchestrate the whole deal. Thank you. So thank you. I thank you so much for thank being my friend, but also executing you. the most perfect day. And the one thing as a mother um, that you like to hear is your daughter say, I would not have changed one single second of it. And so with that, I would say it was a pretty good, right. pretty good royal it was wedding. Pretty good, yeah, it was, yeah, it was royal pretty, for sure. It was royal for sure. Um, but if you have tuned in tonight and not caught the whole show, or you love Armin because we get so many of your emails loving his do-it-yourself cooking segments in the kitchen with Armin, uh, go to our podcast at www.debrakennedyshow.com. Just click on the podcast. And you can see all of the episodes uh, right there on our website. So thank you so much You're for always welcome. stopping by. We'll see you again uh, for we'll one of your cooking you segments. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. wow. Let's say good night to our audience. Night, folks. Good night. To view this entire episode or to view other past episodes, please visit our podcast site at DebraKennedyShow.com. Planning a wedding can be ultra stressful. Believe me. 
as a former mother of the bride, I can tell you the ins and outs, what to do, what not to do. But also I can say, have a bestie as your hair and makeup guru, because that's what we did. We had the amazing world <laughs> renowned yeah. Bryce Carey. Mm -hmm. You were with us every second yep. of the way from the minute of planning, 18 months throughout. Yep. And it was a pretty big deal because it was covered by magazine yeah. every step of the way. So we had to be, you know, our P's and Q's on our toes. And uh, you were there not only for getting us camera ready at all times, but also uh, just as our support system. Absolutely. And providing that um, princess-like experience each time. So Yeah, and that's what Alexa said. In fact, she, uh, we're, as we go through the year, we're talking about uh, planning weddings because there are so many. What was it we heard earlier? How many weddings? 200 weddings yeah. a week right here just wow. in Charlotte Mecklenburg County alone he's world-renowned I have to brag on Bryce a little oh. bit he's uh, getting ready to go to LA Hollywood so he does movie sets he does commercials he works with ESPN so you know he's pretty w world renowned but he's also a great person that still stays true to friendships and Absolutely. so you were there with me every step of the way and changed your schedule a lot of times and you know so for that and the makeup artist right here on the Deborah <laughs> Kennedy show even more importantly right but what Alexa sent a few words that she would like to say to you, Bryce. She said, Bryce has hair and makeup talent for days. We totally 100% agree with that. He sure knows how to make a girl feel and look so pretty like a princess. I always was camera ready and felt like a celebrity after hair and makeup with Bryce. But that's what I think you make everybody feel like a celebrity. You know, everybody is a celebrity when they're in your chair. Well, they should be. And, you know, and I think it's important too when a bride and mother of the bride or whoever right. there is picking that hair and makeup person for that special day, whether it's just that day, whether it's the portrait, the, you know, the engagement party, whatever you're hiring that hair and makeup person for, you need to find somebody that's going to make sure they're doing what you want to do and not right. their vision because this mm -hmm. is your day. This is the day that you, you know, will last forever in pictures and things right. like that. And so you want somebody that's going to, you know, understand what you want, but also have that professionalism and that knowledge in their field to be able to say, hey, we're going to be at noon in the sun, so we're going to have to take some precautions with this, or, you know, it's going to be a candlelight wedding, there's going to be different things like that. So, you know, making sure you find somebody that you're comfortable with, that you can have those open conversations right. with, and it's something that you're going to be willing to work with, because that's, you know, that picture lasts forever. Mm -hmm. So you want to remember that day, and Absolutely. or those days, that we, as we did in the magazine. So, so crucial. Of course, this was a lot different than other weddings I've done just because, you know, one of my best friends and Lexi is, you know, beautiful girl and, and you know, was great to work with. So it was, it was fun to be able to get in there and just kind of be part of the, the experience, too, and not just, you know, hired help, so to speak, right. to get in there and do it, but to be able to, you know, help create some energy and, and the mood and set the tone for the day and you know, it was, was very important to me. Right, and that's the one thing that she said too, is you know, everybody that worked with Bryce, so everybody was like, oh my God, he's so fun, and they still like, where's, the first question that I run into, where's Bryce, uh, I'm Bryce, you know. But there was a lot of pressure too, because it was a, a cover, we knew right. it was gonna be a cover, um, and so as uh, makeup artists and hairstylists, you know, it's you have a different kind of mindset too, yep, yep. Uh, because it's a cover is a little bit different than an everyday portrait. Well, exactly, and our cover was shot outside, and in the heat and humidity. Right. So there were a lot of factors working against us that day. But, mm -hmm. um, and that was one of the things, you know, Lexi and I had during our consultation was, you know, we're gonna be doing this outside, this style's great, but are these curls gonna hold? Is your hair gonna right. do that? So, you know, it's important to make sure when you are doing those consultations or those run-throughs, do them in the conditions and the temperatures and the days like that your wedding's gonna be like. It's, right. It makes no sense mm -hmm. to do a December consultation for an August wedding. No. Because it's gonna be totally different. Your hair's got almost a year to grow. Mm -hmm. Things are gonna change, so I always like to do consultations closer to the time of the wedding and in the you know kind of the elements that you're going to be working in so you can kind right. of get a, a real life you know think of what it's going to look like but but the cover was great right. um we had you know a window of time to do things in with the sun against mm -hmm. us and all that and as you that can was a see short window. It, was, right. it was it was and it turned out window. absolutely beautiful yeah. and um you know, Lexi just, it's so funny because she had very specific things in her mind that she wanted and right. the photographers, I mean, as incredible as they were, it had their ideas of things. I had my ideas of things with right. hair and you, the mother of the bride, had all that too. So right. um, I thought it was a great collaboration and we um, made a beautiful cover for Carolina Bride. I think so too. And I think when you said that collaboration, it is really about all working together mm -hmm. for what the bride wants. You know, yeah. I know as a mother of the bride, I would always take a step back and say, you know, it's your wedding. I had my wedding. Yep. And so I think a tip out there to mothers of the brides and brides as you're working together to remember it really is a special day for the bride. Right. Yep. You know? And that's the thing, too. And let that bride, 
you know, let her guide it. Let her, it's her right. ideas and her, and ultimately it's her the one standing there saying I do. So, right. you know, making sure that she's happy and that, and also keeping her grounded too, because sometimes, right. you know, like with Pinterest and things like that, you get so many ideas and stuff that you can be all over the place. So being, you know, consistent in what you want. And usually that's what ends up being, you know, most brides end up with the beautiful wedding. If it's the same one they visioned ever since they were six years old, you know, right. and staying yeah. on track with that. So. And I'll say too, I mean, I think it makes your job easier is I write a picture mm -hmm. of exactly how I want yep. my hair yep. for yep. that day. Yep. And you said, okay, great, we yep. can do that. Mm -hmm. And and I think another tip is most brides have extensions. I mean, if oh, you yeah. want your hair to look amazing and fabulous, yep. you have to have hair extensions. Mm -hmm. And I can remember a lot of the bridesmaids wanted hair that looked like Lexi, <laughs> and they're like, you don't have extensions. <laughs> exactly. It's never going to look exactly, like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you have, there's preconceived notions and there's reality. Yeah, and those are the conversations you need to have with that hair and makeup person in the beginning. Hey, right. I love this picture of this bride. I love her hair. And if that hair makeup person knows what they're talking about, they're going to say, okay, well, in reality, that's been Photoshopped, that's been this, that's been that. And then right. also that model or that bride has extensions. So start that ball rolling, put that into the budget, the things that you're going to need to get that beautiful, you know, day, that look that you want for your wedding day. Right. Well, as we close, we're going to show a few pictures of some of the work that you did. And then we have a little presentation that we want to do for you. So we'll take a minute now and look at some uh, pictures reflecting on the last 18 months with you, Bryce awesome. Carey. I would like to award you a very special award, not only for the most valued bestie friendship, but also for world-renowned work on hair and makeup for the wedding of the century, oh. the royal affair <laughs> to you, Bryce Carey. Oh, thank, thank you. you. For for your hard work, for your friendship, for uh, enduring the ride, the long <laughs> 18 months of the ride. And without you, it would not have been the journey that it was. Oh, so, well, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. oh, I and it. I can truly say this is an award. It's actually a, a token because the award is having you as a best friend Aww. and working with Lexi and having you guys just as family. So um, thank you. This She's is a great honor. Cry. <laughs> I love you. So I just want to say in closing, if you are planning that special day, make sure that you have everything lined up. And the tips that you gave were great. I think in, in closing, you said the tips that were, you know, not to, you have a reality. You have, to, you have to be realistic mm -hmm. about it, that and planning. There's no sense in doing that run through six months, 18 right. months out, do that closer to the wedding, but have those conversations with your makeup artist, hair person, and the, and the things that you need to do prior to the tanning, whatever you've got to get done, right. make sure you're on the same page. And I do want to say, uh, this has been a great segment. He is has so much information, but you can always catch us on DebraKennedyShow.com. Uh, download the podcast and type in Bryce Carey's name and all the segments that he's been on. We do lifestyle chats. We do lots of kind of full really cool mm -hmm. stuff so uh, just google him on the Deborah Kennedy show and all his segments will come up and we hope to see you every Saturday night right here on the Deborah Kennedy show when you look around see the tears falling down in a world so cold where there seems to be no hope so just look